Hello and welcome to this guide to sharing Mocha shape data with Blackmagic Resolve and Fusion. I'll begin in Mocha Pro where I've animated roto shapes to separate the foreground characters in this shot. I'll hit export shape data and select Blackmagic Fusion from the drop down list of supported hosts in order to export the shapes as a fusion composition. This method is used for when Mocha and Resolve are on different host machines. If they're both on the same machine, I can use the copy to clipboard option and paste them into Resolve. Now I'll move over to Resolve version 15 where I have my foreground clip in V2 and my new background in V1, ready for a grading session. I'll move over to the Fusion page in Resolve. In summary, the Fusion page is a procedural compositing workspace where any number of effects can be inserted between the Media In node, coming from the Edit page, and the Media Out node, feeding the Color page. I'll hit Ctrl X to cut the default Media In and Out nodes so that they're stored in the Copy Buffer. This will enable me to merge them with the shape data I import into my composition. I'll select Import Fusion Composition from the File menu and load in the shape data I exported earlier. Each exported shape layer from Mocha has its own node in Fusion. When I send the output of each shape node to a viewer we can see it's matte. I'll connect the shape nodes together to combine them. This method allows me to edit the mask with the native mask adjustment tools in Fusion. I can also view or adjust animation in the keyframe and spline windows if required. Now I want to merge in the media in and media out nodes from my original composition. So I'll hit Ctrl V to paste them and connect the mask nodes output to the mask input on my media in node for my foreground clip. When I show the foreground clip in the viewer, the transparent area masked out by the imported shapes is shown as a checkerboard. Now when I return to the colour page and resolve, my foreground in V2 is composited over the background in V1 and I can grade both layers independently in context. Thanks for watching. For more tips and tricks on Mocha, Sapphire and Continuum, visit the Boris Effects YouTube channel to stay up to date with the latest information on all of the Boris Effects products.